Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Silverton Siege. I'm excited about this, I think. I don't know, it's about three guys um, in South Africa. Yeah, South Africa. They take over a bank. Uh, they're, they um, are freedom fighters. and They take over the bank and they hold the bank hostage um, uh, to ask for the release of Nelson Mandela. So, it's... It's interesting. Um, I remember when Nelson Mandela was in prison uh, for all those years. But uh, I'm sure a lot of you do. Whatever. Um, Arnold Voslaslo. I see. I've seen him before. Otherwise, I don't recognize anybody else. Obviously, it's a foreign film. Let's look here. I think it's. Uh, I want to see what language it's in. It's on Netflix, which is cool. Um, oh no, it's in English. Okay. So I thought maybe they might speak a little something different. It is an hour and forty some odd minutes, an hour and forty minutes, so just over that line of a um, you know, school night movie. But we're gonna do it. It's Thursday night, so it's kind of like the weekend eve. I know I'm risking six point one on IMDb, but only two thousand five hundred people rated it so far. I don't know. Was this or something else? And I think this is the better choice. I'm hoping. So, anyway, let me get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, let you know what I think. Hopefully it's good. Stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, um, no check-in tonight, we're at the credits, we're at the Silverton Siege, um, and I didn't check in, sorry, I forgot what I normally say there, but I messed that up trying to get back to what it was. There wasn't much to check in about. I mean, um, well, I was trying to think of the movie with Martin Short where they go into the bank, mm -hmm. uh, the three of them. Ah, I forget what that is. Um, but anyway, sorry, I'll have to look that up. But I, this movie is about three freedom fighters um, in South Africa in 1980 who are planning to do something else. Kind of gets disrupted, so they're on the run. They run into a bank, right? And they get into this bank. And, you know, they're trying to figure out what to do. They get surrounded. And so, basically, they have all these people kidnapped. And they have to figure out a way to get away. Right? And there's other things that go on, of course. And it turns into, you know, free Nelson Mandela. That's what they're thinking. Like, we're going to free Nelson Mandela. And then we'll give everybody up kind of thing. Um, so, you know, pretty big deal. With I mean, they have three of them. They have about 20 people hostage. They're really going to free Nelson Mandela. But it's all about that. And it's kind of like Money Heist. It's, uh, what was that movie called? But, uh, um, uh, Nick Nolte? Whatever. I have to look that up. But anyway, you know, so, and it's based on a true story, which is cool. And that's kind of why I watched it. But as I'm watching it, it just feels the same. And now I feel, I started thinking as soon as I stopped this and I wanted to talk to you about it was, am I ruining movies for myself? I watch all these movies, you know, all the time, not, you know, one a day. And uh, am I getting to the point now that I'm becoming numb? Like this plot line is just transparent, right? I mean, like, you don't need to know anything more about this plot line. I mean, people go into the bank, you become, you know, hold people hostages. Whether you're stealing or not, whatever your purpose is there, and you get caught in the bank, it's all about trying to get out, negotiating with the cops, and thinking of some crazy way to get out. Now, we know in a lot of those movies, when it's not based on a true story, there might be some cool tricks or something like that, something that we haven't seen, like in Bandits. You know, if you haven't seen Bandits, check that out. Billy Bob Thornton, Thornton and Bruce Willis. Uh, really good movie there, but I, I digress. This is based on a true story, so you know there's no, like, magic or, or like, in Casino or Casino. Um, you know what I mean? Like, in different movies, I'll say. I'm not going to keep spouting movies because I'm messing them up. Ocean's Eleven is what I meant. But you know what I mean? There's like, oh, I know that's not a bank robbery um, or bank situation, but there was, like, Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. That kind of stuff is going to keep you interested. This really 
Not that I, I was, you know, I, I don't know. <clears throat> so there's that piece of it. There's a lack of creativity or, I don't want to say creativity because it's based on a true story, but imagination. Like, you know, I just, that was the problem for me on this one. <clears throat> Sorry, Cinnamon. And um, so there's that piece of it. The other piece of it is, okay, so you know what's going to happen, essentially. You know what the whole movie's going to be about. Now you want to feel connected. You know, I think that's the, the other option here. It's like, okay, let's feel connected. Let's feel part of the cause. Let's feel either for the, the um, people who are being kidnapped and held hostage, or let's feel for the freedom fighters and let's, you know what I mean? Like you, you want to feel like you're in their place and you're really, you know, you're interested and edge of your seat kind of stuff on what's going on, whatever side that make they make you feel. <clears throat> this didn't do that for me. And I, I honestly, I mean, every movie, of course, I really give my full attention at least for a good portion of it until it loses my attention. I don't purposely stop watching a movie. I just get to the point where it's like, well, there might be something better over here right now. I'm going to still watch it. And, you know what I mean? Like, that happens. And that happened in this one. They didn't suck me in. They didn't pull me in. Either on the hostage side, or on the freedom fighter side, or on the cop side. You know? And I know I talked about uh, Money Heist. And that has you pulled in. I mean, that, that, that it's a show. It's not a movie. So they have more time to develop that and make you um, want to... I mean, like, root for everybody. Like, you're interested in, in the detective or the, the, the police officer, whichever one, whatever season you're in. If you're not, get there. You, you know, you're interested in the people who are robbing the bank. You're interested in the, in the hostages. You know, there's, they really pull you in. Again, more time to do that than you do in this hour and 40 minute film. I get that. But there still should be enough to pull me in to keep me interested. And that just wasn't there for me. Um, I was evaluating the acting, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you know, people who I didn't know, and, and seeing that the way they acted, the first one, um, you know, was the girl, the girl freedom fighter. I thought she was pretty good. I liked her. You know, I liked all the characters, but like she, she made me realize, oh, okay, wow. Well, you know, I thought it, she was acting pretty well. I'm not the best judge of acting. Um, I'm not the best judge of anything. But uh, um, anyway, I, I that stood out to me. But other than that. I was a little disappointed in it, you know, so it was on Netflix, a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, you know, for a school night movie, but I wanted to check it out based on a true story, and I appreciate all of that, um, you know, but uh, just didn't do all the things that I said it should do. Now, I will say this, based, stories based on a true story, I have to say this every time, I look for two things, words on the end, at uh, the end, to give me more information about what happened, they were there, and pictures, they were there. So, props to that, but otherwise, for some reason, this one just didn't resonate with me. So, there you go. Um, hopefully I was helpful. If I was, thank you. If not, I apologize. Uh, but continue to tune in. It's going to be a big weekend. I'm excited. There's a couple of movies that I'm going to watch that are going to be longer than an hour and 40 minutes. So. Tune in for those. Who knows when they'll be posted or when you're watching this. But uh, I'm excited. So stick around. I'm, I'm not, don't stick, just come back. Don't stick around. I'm going to leave now. Go watch other reviews and come back and stuff like that. But don't stick around. All right. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Camel's Irish Pub.